We love talking to this guy. Florida Panthers, very exciting time going on right now. The Cats are in the playoffs, and it feels a little bit different than last year. Things are normal. Fans are going to be in the building. This fan base is pumped up. Who better to talk to than our guy, Sergey Bobrovsky. Bob, thanks for the time, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for, for having me. Dude, do you feel like the the energy of, of going into the postseason – it's got to feel different than last year because of just the weird circumstances of like, you know, the expanded playoffs, the bubble, all this type of stuff. But the idea that you guys have had so much success this year, the fan base is as revved up as it's ever been. They'll get to be in the building. Like it has to feel just unbelievably top notch going into the, the, this postseason. Yeah, definitely. Things are uh, getting, uh, getting better and better. Not only with the uh, with the playoffs, with the vaccine and stuff, we got more fans in the building, and it's definitely fun time for us. You know, we miss them a lot, and it's uh, it's great. We're looking forward to see more and more fans and uh, cheer for us and support us. And uh, on our side, we try to do our best to to make them happy. Was it uh, was it noticeable because we haven't spoken during the season, but. Uh, those games where you didn't have fans and then when when you do have people back in the building like how much do you notice how much you missed having the people there cheering you on yeah especially like uh the, the season like you 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 take that as a granted you know like uh, last few years that you 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 get used to that you have a full building here and there and uh like now without the fans you you really miss them you you appreciate it even more and you are you understand how uh, how big of a part our fans is, you know. So it's uh, it's definitely again, it's uh, it's going to be exciting time, and we can't wait to have the full capacity. Yeah, that's it, it's it's going to be absolutely sick, man. I mean, I've been wanting to see what hockey looks like in this town with not not only just not only just you guys being successful, but getting this entire community behind you guys because it has been a while since we've gotten to see the Panthers, you know, win a playoff series, year of the rat, all that type of stuff, and. I really think like going to those games, like how much fun my family has going to Panthers games, like to do it with some like intense stakes on the line. Like, I feel like it could take this as a hockey town to a next level, which is, uh, I mean, it's gotta be a big sense of pride for you guys in that way. Yeah, for sure. As you said, you know, Florida is so big. There's so many people lives in the, and there is so many hockey fans, you know, like, uh, and obviously all the fans wants to see the team success and want to have go on the building and have fun. And, you know, it's the, this season teams get together, we play, we play good hockey. And uh, again, in the playoffs, it's going to be a very exciting time. And uh, it's 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 fun time. It's the best best time to play hockey. And, uh, yeah, we see look forward to see more and more fans in the, in, on our side. What do you think is has led to so much success this year, Sergey? Like, you guys have had such a consistent level. You've had obstacles to deal with. I mean, some really bad injuries. And yet you guys have been able to just stay even keel and continue to have success like what do you think that 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 recipe has been this year i think we have uh, you know we have a pretty good depth in our uh, throughout uh, our lineup you know all positions we have uh depth and uh lots of lots of guys had the chance to step up and they did you know like we have we're missing Aki is a key player for us so we will miss that at some point we miss Barky and we, we miss some key players and we're still able to to have a success you know that's the that's the, that's uh that's how depth how how deep our uh, our lineup is and uh, that's that's all about you know we got uh, good 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 uh, good guys good locker room good atmosphere and uh, great players so it's, and it's uh it's uh, it's it's so much fun to be around did when when Ekblad went down, it was such a you know such a devastating moment because he's been a member of this franchise for a long time. He's obviously one of your guys' best players. How did the locker room react to that? Like you talk about the depth, but like was there ever a point where you guys were down at all, like emotionally? And like how do you rally around when a guy who's usually you know who's so important to your team, you realize oh we're not going to have him? Um, how do you yeah. how do you rally like that? What, what, what went into that? Yeah, for sure. We had the moment where, where, where we all were down, you know, when it happened, we were all like all of us were devastating for that. But on the other hand, like we have to move on, you know, we've got like, as, as we mentioned before, our fans looking at us, you know, our, uh, our people, we work for each other, you know, for the organization and we have to move on and the, the life is going on. And the other other people, other guys, gonna have the chance, the opportunity to step up and uh, make their, uh, make, maybe make their uh, life life of ch- chance of life, you know, and 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 step in. 
that's that's hockey. It's 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 happened, and it's it's unfortunate part part of the game, but it's uh it's happened still, and we have to be pro and to do our our stuff. For uh, for yourself personally, uh, I guess just how has this year been? Like year two with the Florida Panthers, you know, reflecting on it, um, comfort level, just your 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 level of play, how you feel mentally. How have you felt in year two here? Now that you almost have a regular season in the books, and you're and you're going into to the the big stage now. Yeah, I feel good. I feel I feel fresh. You know, I feel uh, energized, and uh, my game gets gets better and better. I build my game throughout the course of the season so i i uh i haven't played much as like i usually played and that allows me to be fresh and be ready and uh i'm so i'm uh i'm in a good shape right now and i'm looking forward for the playoffs have you um the 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 stanley cup that's like the 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 grand prize of it all for you obviously and i'm sure that's like been a dream forever like do you this time of year like do you do any like visualizing of what it would be like winning the championship and things like that? Or do you try and just keep it still just like a regular season, like game by game and all that type of stuff? Because I'm sure it's every hockey player's dream to, to get to that ultimate level. For sure. For sure. There is a, there is a little bit of both, you know, you want to keep your focus on the moment on the right here, right now. And you do, you come every day, you have to get there. You know, if you're going to just dream about it, you're not going to, you're not going to get there. You know, you have to come every day, every, every practice and then give and work and work hard and compete. And then in the game, you have to prove yourself and uh, be the best as you possibly, as you possibly could for the guys, you know, and, uh, for sure, it's it's a dream. It's there in the as a as a hockey player. You always you've been this since you are uh, like a little little kid. For me, maybe a little bit uh, older. But for sure, you dream about the highest price in the NHL. You know, you, for sure, you dream about the cup and you work for it, and that that's your dream. But uh, on the again, it's 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 a process, and you have to be focused on the present moment and be present and uh, do your best to uh, to to make that you know little step towards that goal. Have you thought about like you've definitely thought about what you've done, what, what you would celebrate with the with the cup like? Because I know if I was a hockey player, like the immediate thing I would want to do is just pour champagne into it and just guzzle it down like a pelican. Yeah, I think you know I will uh, I will answer that question after I win it. So I will talk about <laughs> so, <laughs> if I don't like to talk about very superstitious with this with the cup, right? Like it's got yeah. fans the way we talk about it and the way players are. Like it's almost like the holy grail. You guys don't talk about it or or don't th- or don't reveal that type of stuff, right? Yeah, right now, you know, right now my focus is on, on tomorrow game and we, we're going to face the really good team. It's uh, it's a good skill team and my focus is to be to be as uh, as to, to be the best as I possibly can be for tomorrow. Uh you guys brought up this year Spencer Knight, super young. He got a chance to to kind of uh get his beak wet into the National Hockey League. Uh what was it like having somebody I guess so young at your position there? Did it take you back at all to when you were young and up and coming in the league? Yeah, there is a little bit for sure. You look at him, you look at he's really he's he's still a kid, you know. And you look at him, and I remember myself when I get like was twenty years old, I was still in Russia, and I like, it's 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 fun actually. Yeah, it's it brings you to that like uh, back in the days, and uh, makes you wonder and think about a little bit a little bit how it was how it felt, you know. But uh, he's a good goalie, and uh, it's it's uh, yeah, it's it's fun to be part of his development. What do you uh, what do you remember like when you first came to America as a, as a young hockey player? Like, did did anything? Like, was there a culture shock at all? Uh, just coming here and, and playing on this level, or I mean, I know you played high stakes in, in in Russia for a long time too, but like, what was it like just coming somewhere new at such a young age? Yeah, you know, at twenty years, you don't think much. You just I came here. I came here like as I I, I didn't speak English much, and I came here like uh, and all, all the interview I said like my job is to stop the puck, <laughs> and that's that's pretty much all about what I think. You know, I didn't think about culture. I didn't think about language. I just uh, I thought about the the next shot, and I have to stop it, and that's it. You know, one shot at a time, and then uh, see what's gonna happen. And the, the those those things, the cultural and and that stuff, it's it gets a little bit like later when you are getting older, you see, you think, you think more, and that stuff. But by the, that time, it was quite like, you look at look uh, look back, it was like so so simple. But on the other hand, like you, you don't know how you did it. Uh, I got to ask you a couple more before we get you out of here. Um, your 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 guy, Artemi Panarin, he had an unfortunate thing where he got uh, cheap shotted by somebody on the Capitals. 
Uh, what was your reaction to that going down? And then did you see what happened the uh, the next game where it was a uh, brouhaha? Everybody started gloves down and uh, and everybody was fighting on the ice. Yeah, I I mean I saw the uh, I saw the incident, you know, but uh, yeah, it's 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 hockey, you know, it's hockey. I didn't I didn't see much what happened after. I didn't uh, like I didn't look that too much. I, I again I I focus on my stuff and. Uh, I think he's a he's a grown man and he uh, he he step step up for his teammates, and then that's it. So he's uh, he's a, he's a, he's a man and uh, he's a, he got the good character, compete character. You know, he stepped up and uh, and that's it. Uh, have you ever had a situation like that where you knew uh, knew beforehand in a game that the game was going to start off in uh, in all fisticuffs? Everybody was going to start throwing punches to to start before hockey action even started. Yeah, I think I think I think I was there. Uh, so I played a couple of years in Philly, and uh, back like uh, seven, eight, seven years, there was different hockey. There was lots of tough guys, really tough guys, you know. And there was fights like the heavyweights fights. They look scary. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I I saw I saw a few of this. So it's a, it's 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 a back all 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 day school, uh, hockey. The la- last one. So the last guy on your team that you would want to fight. Would you would you go Patrick Hornquist there? Would you go Radko Gudis? Who do you think is uh, number one guy you'd want in a back alley brawl uh, with you by your side? You know, I love my teammates. I would I would fight anybody for them, and not against them. So you know, what I mean, and that's that, that's it. They are my guys, and I love them, and I'm ready to step up for each and every guy in that locker room in my locker room. I got you, man. Hey, congratulations on a, on a great regular season. We're looking forward to the postseason. And uh, good luck, good health all the way, and thanks for always making time for us. Thank you very much. Thank you.